Hey, hi, welcome to the series of automotive cyber security sessions. I am Dota Krishna Hema, your automotive quality expert. So today we would like to know the introduction of cyber security. Why cyber security? Cyber security is to protect your car from hacking. So generally cars are prone to hack and these modern cars like which comes with hundreds of ECUs like it is much more prone to hack because it has a lot of core in it and it has a lot of interfaces that we are going to discuss about in furthermore slides. So where exactly through which media we can hack the car so we can hack the car through car itself like the because of the issues inside it and we can hack the car through back-end IT servers or the cloud servers which we which it is going to communicate with and we can there are a long list of um, the hacking probabilities in the next slide so we can even expect threats um, during manufacturing also that is during vehicle integration procedure and also uh, during the availability of production line for assembling. Relationship with other standards. So how this automotive cybersecurity is related with other standards. So automotive cybersecurity is related with ISMS that is ISO 27001 that is called information security management system and also it is related with function safety as well automotive function safety so how it is related is like it will have the terminology which is very similar to ISMS like the vulnerabilities threats hacking and other terminologies which and risk assessments and these kind of things are very similar to ISMS but however so since the security and safety should go hand in hand with each other so it should also talk about the terminology talk in terms of the terminology which we used in automotive cyber automotive functional safety that is like item definition and uh, hara instead of hara it will have tara so instead of hazard analysis and risk analysis like it will have threat analysis and risk analysis and uh, risk assessment these kind of things are very common across and ISO 27000 focuses on IT servers, um, like how it is going to store the data and uh, what are the associated vulnerabilities, threats with respect to the IT servers. But ISO 21434 or the automotive cybersecurity talks about vehicle level vulnerabilities, threats and, and the probability of hacking. So, um, and recently a spice uh, also released some of the process areas like which are associated with the cyber security which is new attraction to us so vehicle interfaces and communications prone to hacking so there are um, these are the things like which are listed here are um, the, are very prone to hacking that is uh, internal interfaces external interfaces and also the canvas communication anomalies and data and script encryption so uh, if you talk about the external infer interfaces so these are the examples of external interfaces so uh, here i want to say something like you know what is the interface exactly is yes, like you know um so each and every automotive vehicle will have hundreds of ecus so each and each, each and every ecu will be like a small size computer so each and every ecu will have its own functionality its own behavior it need to be monitor something you know these kind of things are uh, should be there and it should communicate with other ecu and uh, it should exchange the data between and also these these kind of things so it will have the associated coding uh, in that ecu which is stored inside it okay and see if uh, if the particular ecu is having communication inside the vehicle with another ecu that is called internal interface okay or the internal communication so wherein if the if that particular ecu is having a contact with other external uh, things like your data servers your you know these are these things like anything 
which is not inside the car not inside uh, not inside the car that is called external interfaces so here are some external interfaces that is called see whenever we have an access to internet like if you connect the vehicle to the wi-fi network so um we will why we will connect this uh, thing is like you know to get connected to the cloud servers to get connected to the in vehicle infotainment system like audio video or these kind of things so um and so this is like you know when you in when you connect to the internet access for ivi systems okay the second thing is ota software updates ota is over the air software updates like the software will get downloaded through the cloud servers and it will get installed into your um, into your um, vehicle so here it is prone to hack and you will have a vehicle that we will have something called vehicle diagnostics flash programming remote access and electric charging station communication and the data transfer in between vehicle vehicles and infrastructure um, like where it is going to park where it is going to stay where this infrastructure including and uh, even like you know it will have a communication with the back end servers cloud servers or these kind of things so and the next thing is internal interfaces or in vehicle communication so internal interfaces is nothing but the communication between the ecus inside a car okay and uh, along with this particular you know ecu to ecu communication so first thing is like we need to concentrate much more on the external interfaces because that it is much more uh, much more hacking prone but you know one ecu is there and that ecu um is communicating with the external external things and so it have the in it has external interfaces interface so that ecu is communicating with another ecu inside the car so that's when like it is also having a possibility to hack right so what kind of the data what kind of data this particular ecu is storing so the based on the data storage so each and every data which is going to store inside the car or you know which is going to exchange with the um, server back end server or the cloud servers so like these kind of things like you know we need to ensure that every data is encrypted okay and the second thing is communication with monitoring systems using usb bluetooth etc so with this i came to the end of this topic so this is just an introduction session to cyber security automotive cyber security so i'm trying to find uh, the more easiest way you know to uh, relate with financial safety to relate with isms to learn it much more easier when compared to you know learning cyber security directly so in the next sessions you may you, you may get new new things or you know you may get the relative terminologies in with functional safety and also the ISMS. So hope you got this concept. If you like this concept, click on the like button. If you want further more automotive videos, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.